Hi, everyone. We're going to start in a few minutes. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to give some of our other uh, storytellers a chance to join. We'll hear Mr. Paul one more time, maybe. <laughs> could listen to him. Uh, it's the same song, but I uh, could listen to it a million times. So enjoy. Welcome to our storytelling class. So happy to have you all. Uh, whenever we do classes, we like to have a waiting room just to entertain people and share extra little bonus <laughs> items, if you will, with our friends and family. Um, that uh, song was from Mr. Paul Miranda of Paula. He is our boys' um, rattle instructor. And uh, he has a beautiful voice. Um, and again, I could listen to him all the time, all day long. So we'll be sharing more songs uh, with you of him um, in the future. Right now, Miss uh, Kali, we are going to open in a good way with another song from Mr. Paul um, that he has gifted to our storytellers. It is called Miu Miahua. Uh, Miu Miahua is saying hello in both languages uh, in Kupa Pi Payomka Wichom. So we hope you enjoy it. You guys are welcome to um, also say hello in the chat. We will do introductions uh, in a little bit. Um, and uh, also throughout the program, if you have questions, we'll, we'll try to watch the chat and uh, respond to your questions. So right now we'll. Turn it over to our students uh, with this video to open us in a good way. We might have some internet connectivity issues if you cannot hear. Bear with us. Okay, so I think what's going on is like the rattles in the video because they're <laughs> Sorry, sorry, uh, Quila, the audio is probably bouncing off your and Avelica's um, things, but um, for our audio, uh, our rattles make the, the swishing noise, and with Zoom, they do like a noise suppressor thing, so you can't hear your background audio, um, and I think while the rattles were playing, it was also trying to like suppress it so it's not too loud, um, so we're just going to skip through that. Actually, I think we should share <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and open it up and it, me and Anthony and Miss Amy will share the song with you guys. Oh ho, so if you'll bear with us further, uh, we'll share the song with you. And welcome to our, our new friends on the line. Uh, we'll do introductions soon, but we want to open you in a good way, but thank you for, uh, you can see our beautiful students there. So, Supul we Pahai. Mi you, mi afwa, mi you, mi wa. Mi yu mi ahwa mi yu mi wa Mi yu mi ahwa mi yu mi wa Mi yu mi ahwa mi yu mi wa 
नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी मियो 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 नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी मियो 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 नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी नकी नोकी मियो 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 Thank you young people for oh, indulging. <laughs> All right, we're going to do introductions now. Um we'll start with our young people since they honor me by doing that. Uh Miriam Chotanam, I'm not on Priscilla ka non um Epi Nation Santa Isabel P uh Rincon uh Nokwan Patty Duro, Antonet Duro and John Lachapa. Hello everyone. My name is Priscilla Ortiz. I am from the Epi Nation of Santa Isabel um and Rincon and my grandparents are Patty Duro, Antonette Duro and John Lachapa. Woo woo. Miriam Notong Antonica. Uh non wash nai pi non tan atom. No kom just pin ko pi gear her tado. Hello everybody. My name is Anthony. Uh I'm from Rincon and I'm tan atom. My grandparents are just pin ko and Gary her tado. Nokton Amy Admarica no Washnai no Payonka wish no Kwam Joseph Morales Delacob and Marcella Mason. And I just want to remind uh, everyone the protocol in our area is generally your name, where you're from and your grandparents. If you all would like to share in our protocol, you are welcome. Otherwise, just please introduce yourselves however you are comfortable. We appreciate you. So whoever would like to go next, we'd love to hear from you. You can also put it in the chat if that's more comfortable as well. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing Avelica. Thank you. Go ahead, Avelica. Um, uh, I'm Avelica Flavi Rodriguez, and um, uh, but you can just call me Avelica. And your grandparents? Um, uh. <laughs> Your grandpa is Grandpa Larry. My Rodriguez. my grandpa is Grandpa Larry Rodriguez. His dad was Frank Rodriguez. His dad was Frank Rodriguez. And his dad was Frank Senior Rodriguez. And his dad was Frank Senior Rodriguez. Your family is from the Hoya Rincon. My family is from the Hoya Rincon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Who's next? Chris or Callie, you're gonna make me call you out. There's Miss Mary. Hello, Miriam. No tongue, Mary Lopez Kiefer Yaga. Then this is my son Max, and my other son Sean. He's in the background, uh, and we're from San Luis Rey, and we're from the Fusats. Welcome. Thank you for inviting. Of course. Anyone else? Miss Cassie, I'm seeing some lovely people. earrings. <laughs> Miriam, Nantong, Kasti, Wet, and Yaka, Long, Payong, Kuwacham, Nokwam, Don, Wet, and Hello, my name is Kasti, Wet, and from the Changa and Reservation, and my grandpa's Don, Wet, and Thank you, thank you, I see Chris writing in the chat, thank you, Chris. Green, did you want to go? Miriam, Nong, Ring, Maganta, Yaka, Nong, Pao, Mangai, Thank you. I'm so glad you're all here. Anyone else before we move on? If and if we miss you, you can always go to the chat. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to move on. Just thank everyone who's, be, who's in the room. I see Danielle uh, and some other friends. Thank you for being here. Uh, Ms. Kelly, can you show your screen again? Quila, thank you for being here. Nice to meet you, Avelica. Uh, tonight's story is called The Contest Between the Ocean People and the Mountain People. We've been telling the story for a really long time. The story comes from uh, our uncle Lucario, um, who is from Rincon. Uh, he recorded these stories with Constance Dubois. So we're grateful to him for that. Um, and our storytellers have performed the story all across the county <laughs> for a really long time. Um, it's one of our favorites. Um, and we are doing several things with the story currently, Miss Kelly. Uh, we are actually gonna start with the language tonight on a recommendation for one of our, one of our crew members and we wanna honor their ideas. So we're gonna start with the language tonight to introduce you to one of the projects we're working on. If you go back to the song slide. So we're trying to um, do a project with this song. Um, it is called Ya'ash Po'achem. And uh, we're trying to insert the animals from this story into this song and then um, do something for our primary youth. So we thought we'd share it with you here. So as we go through the language and as we go through the um, story, you can think about how we can put these animals into the song. Um, and so it sounds like this. Po achum kalkush kunya ash hi ya shu una una pil alkush kun awa hi ya shu una wow ya kush eva wow ya kush wuna wow eva wow una cho unga micha wow ono ya wuna what do you guys think? Everyone can do it, right? <laughs> uh, we're learning together. Uh, so what animal is in this? Uh, based on the translation, you can see what animals already in the song. You can put it in the chat or unmute if you like. And I was going to say, Miss Ez, can you monitor or tell us if, if they do stuff in the chat? A wall. I see Cassie Witten. Thank you, Miss Cassie. A wall. That's the name of the animal in this part of the song. Um, he, a wall is the name for dog. And wow, wow, you kush Eva, wow, you kush wuna. Wow means to bark. So we call our phones wowy lashes because <laughs> they're barking things. <laughs> All right, so that's the project, another project we're working on uh, associated with this story. So thank you for letting us share. We have put it in, um, uh, what do you call it? Ingrained in the story or the slides mm -hmm. so that you can go back later if you want to hear uh, how to sing that again, you can practice at home. Uh, this will be posted on uh, YouTube, I want to say. So one of the first characters you'll be seeing in this uh, story is called Shukawut. Shukawut is a gray squirrel, a gray tree squirrel. And uh, he does hilalish, hilalish, hilalish. So hilalish is to, what do you guess? Somebody guess out there. What's that gray tree squirrel doing in this story, do you think? You can put it in the chat or unmute. <laughs> All right, I'll share. He's climbing <laughs> in this story. The great tree squirrel is climbing. Uh, let's see. Next, Miss Kelly. And again, if you have questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, Mechish. Mechish is our octopus in this, uh, and is a character in the story. And he is a lelan. Alelan. Alelan means to crawl. Miss Kelly? Uh, this is one of our favorite characters. Miss Priscilla, you want to take this one? Yeah. This is um, our uh, Nighthawk, mm -hmm. and his name in Champela is Tolvianat. Um, 
and I know in English the verb of what he's doing is eating or opening his mouth really wide. Mm -hmm. And kwa un means to eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> kwa. Eating. There's kwa and kwa un. I learned it as kwa un. So, uh, next character. Uh, Anthony? Uh, the next character is Salomon. That's the rainbow trout. And he, what he or what they do is yehela. And uh, that is to stare. Miss mm -hmm. Kelly? Go ahead. Okay. And then. Um, the next animal, our next character is Muta, which is our great horned owl, and he is uh, Chiwa. He loses. Oh, which means he <laughs> loses. So we have a little spoiler alert. A little, a little spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> this is Emulmal. Emulmal. An Emulmal Paka Paka. Baka baka. It means he pecks constantly. <laughs> He's looking for sand. Uh, sand, what are they called? Uh, sand, sand, sand crabs? Sand crabs. Yeah. Mm. So that's what he does. And mul mul. Baka baka. <laughs> next. Uh, the next one is Wahaukula, the frog. And Wahaukula uh, does Mokwacha, which is to jump. Oh, ho. Our next animal is our friend Ashwa, and he is. Willime. He's Willime, but um, Ashwa in English okay. is the eagle. Okay, yeah, he's the eagle, and he does a uh, Willime, which okay. is flying. Mm -hmm. So he's flying in our story. Next. I know it's a kind of just, it seems like off. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> Anthony. Um, Kawi Awa, which is the raven. Uh, Kawi Awa is Yuvata, which means black, the color black. Mm -hmm. And Anthony used to play this character. A long time ago, yes, in our story <laughs> that we're about to show. Next. Uh, this is Hichemo, um, and he is a small bird, so we're calling him Kihu. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how you say small in Chamfela, and Hichemo is, I believe, a marsh hawk, right? Yeah. So, well, what is he? I think he is a small marsh hawk. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, he might be a small marsh hawk, if not, Pay attention to the story and correct me because <laughs> yes. we will introduce who he is. Next. Our next character is Mahola. Mahola. And Po of A. He is red. He's the red shouldered hawk. Next. Not to be confused with Kwatla, who's the red tailed hawk. The next uh, character is Wasimo, the marsh hawk, and um, Tota is a rock because uh, Wasimo comes, becomes a rock in the story. Another spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> next. This is a Velika. And Avelica Hemma. Hemma. What do uh, butterflies do? They flutter. Hemma. <laughs> yes, Quila and Avelica. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Next. Uh, this is, uh, go ahead. Uh, this is our grasshopper, Wiet. Um, and he is Kinga, which means, um, what does that mean? He chirps. Oh, he uh -huh. chirps. Kinga, uh -huh. to chirp. Uh -huh. And there's a really old song that uh, I was gifted from LJ from um, 
Oh my gosh. Why did I just go blank on her name? <laughs> That's not very polite. Uh, oh my gosh. I'll think of it before the end of the program. But um, there's a song that she says that she can't remember because the song is so old, but it says, we at, we at, we at, we at, we at, we at, we, yes, Gertrude Chori. Please forgive me. Um, but yes, and so when I heard that song, I thought maybe it's about a grasshopper because it's a children's lullaby. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it just reminds me of that. Okay, go ahead. We are going to get to the story, I promise. Um, the next animal is Tonla, an antelope. And Tonla is Hikwa, um, which run. is to run. Mm -hmm. And then I believe our last character that we're highlighting tonight, because there's more characters in the story, you'll see, um, is Shuka. Shuka Omar. And uh, this word is actually a Kumeyaay word, and it means to what? To win. To win. to win. Yay, Omar. And it comes from a beautiful story about Palomar Mountain and a uh, warrior with a bow. And I don't tell it very well, but it comes from Stanley Rodriguez of Santa Isabel. So thank you, Mr. Stanley, uh, for sharing your story with us and teaching us the word Omar for win. All right. <laughs> So we're going to move into our story, I believe. And we pre-recorded it for you just for time. This is one of our longer stories. If you were here last week, we did our language live, um, but we pre-recorded it for you because we wanted to share uh, a lot of information with you tonight. So please enjoy the story. Again, we'll be watching the chat. If you have questions as we go along, we'll try to answer them at the end. Wow. Thank you. You might we want to make a quiet little Ono Ahanenik Mahana Atahum Momat Pohailunga Kiktum Pomom Quashet Poha Ponoam Piatahum Kawinga Kiktum Pomtah Pomhaya Pi Miakush. After the death of Wheel Seafog, Momat Pokwasha was in charge of arranging ceremonies, providing food, and calling all the people together. Seafog set up the Katumat pole with baskets on top and arranged for a contest of skill between his people of the West, the ocean people, and the people of the mountains. Momat pohailunga kiktum pomshun woyakash pomom kawinga kiktumi mayam yanga pomhuyepi. Shoana momat pohailunga kiktum pomyak hilalaya kutumunga tukma ayanetum. Tukma Nahachantal pi hiachal ya wai with al miakush pi kai ha pohilach votakush poyukmuk shukawat po kawinga kikat po shukawat cho on mi uniek po mochvoik hilan lanek we chat cheva pi pi wuna pil tukma karakpaya. Ono Ahane Nikmil Kawinga Kiktam Pomomi Momat Bahailunga Kiktami Huyah. The ocean people were sure they could do everything better than the mountain people. So everyone tried to climb the Katuma pool to get the baskets which were filled with food and gifts. But no one could reach the top except Grey Tree School Squirrel Shukuwit from the mountains. He climbed the pole, cut the string, and the baskets fell down. So the Mountain people won that contest. Kawinga kiktam hota poru ahuk shukat poa ipi muyaki natchanish cho on hish pumtuk wani votavoi. Pi matchish po mongawish po elakat kwat pi natchanish ayanakat po mata muyaka muyukta po kunel kushanenik cho on natchanish poru enek unik hotem. Ona hanak mir. 
Pia Pito Pomoma Pohailunga Kita. When the Ma and people went to this gathering, they took deer meat and much food, all that they could carry. But Mechish from the ocean, an octopus that crawls along and has many hollow cups all over his body, he got a bag and got all the food in that bag and carried it off. So the ocean people got all of the mountain people's food and they won that contest. Wunat mil puruach momat pohailunga kiktam anam at me pohish awoy kwapichi. A hang my aukush kawinga wish pot ma huya hi yo potung tovianat. Kawinga kiktam ya poi tovianat hani ko up kwa lower om pipo ya on up here cha yawak on nakush po pot matang po ek cho on pone po shom mi votakalpi. Pot mai po hedi aka ikala po mom chon his ashoi to quim pi po tobi na chon his mola ona khane ne khuya kawinga kiktam ibanga po notal kaminga then the ocean people gathered fish and other things to eat there is a bird there from the mountains with a very big mouth the night hawk called tovina the mountain people said to him Tovina, it is your turn now to eat, he said. Uh, sorry. He said, that is easy for me to do, knowing he was the only one able to devour the mass. He opened his mouth and they poured everything into it and he ate it all up. So the mountain people won that contest. Unatmil pomtela ta tavana silma muta we pomta pomta pom nota kamapi pomom wechum pomta takinik pompush na pomtolipi miakush po micha hamula popuchi chupu ilat pipone nota kamish po chiwakpi miakush yek makinik po muta popuchi hamula chupuach Ono akhanenik siluma mutai huya pi mama pohuyunga pohailunga kiktam pono um akhanak huya. Then they arranged a game between the fish, a rainbow trout called Sawamo, and the great horned owl, Mutha. They were to look straight at each other, and whoever closed his eyes first would lose. Sawamo and Mutha sat and looked at each other for a long time. Finally, the owl had to close his eyes, so he lost, and the ocean people won that contest. Atahum waltukus choongai ivangai notukamingai pi pomnek pipi akar akus. Alwa levalvas pohang akala kutumanga atahum pomnek pipi miakus. The people were starting to get angry over all these contests, and it seemed that there could be a fight between them. When the crow's feather banner, all what Lavalvash, was hung on the pole, there could be fighting. Wunapil kwashat kikchu momga neshkin pi haya kawinga kiknami pone pokia pomleme pi. Kawinga kikta mawaviti wawah kish lomila po hiksatan. Po awave pilek pumlo miakos. Awave ngorinik hoyah pitomawa po waki wawani ah nikai micha ahana kish lomila. Pi supunko mama po hailunga kikta huya yupan. Then, sea fog, mama po kwasha made a house near the ocean and dared the mountain people to destroy it. The mountain people summoned Summer Cloud Thundercloud, Awavit, a very powerful man to come and blow or break the house down. Summer Cloud Thundercloud roared, blew, and cast lightning bolts, but he could do nothing to break the house down, so the ocean people won that contest. Unapil awavit kwashati wawa pakik kawinga 
pohati akpi tiwile te po kwasha pone awavit pokin polumipi kwasha chil hati ya hungla to wash wash metanik mongai wala wala wananga niak no lakush hoi kush pilek pi kulawat mom kati pitivit inik kish ahana loma kawinga ono ahana nik mil ataku moma po hailunga kik tam huya then Summer Cloud Thundercloud invited Sea Fog to come up to his house in the mountains to see if he could destroy it. So, he, so Sea Fog came. A powerful wind arose from the ocean and came inland, funneling through the canyons. It was so powerful it broke trees and knocked down houses in the mountains. So the ocean people won again. Wunat mil pom tele tavana huam pom namapi. Nama pa like unik kawik sang mayik. Pomom kawinga kiktum nami buktum pom tong mahwala wahakula ashwit kawiawit pi hichemo. Pomom momat po hailinga kiktum nami buktum pom tong e momo po hang my momat po hailinga kikat a huyahi po kikat a velika pi wiye. Then everyone decided to try their skills in a long race. They raced past Lula and up through the mountains as far as La Jolla. Some of those that raced on the side of the mountain people were the red shoulder hawk, Mahuala, little tree frog, Wahaukula, the golden eagle, Ashwit, the raven, Kawiwa, and a small hawk called Hichemo. For the ocean people raced Imumo, the small birds on the seashore, which are very fast runners called sandpipers, and also the butterfly, Avelica, and the grasshopper, Wiet, raced on the side of the ocean people. Palangamil Wunik Nolanik Mas Wahamkik Koya Kawicha Patolanga Wuna Washna Powehayakala. Ivapil po wasima po shunyatya, po amoka tonga wilka, ehna neshin noyaka, po wasima tota marikya penga neshin, una sparkman, po ki potolanga, una shivela monka po wachakala, ponwen una yatya chahuka po shun, po ya ash namaka, pi po e pomni pitoli chuhik. They passed Paula and eventually came to the foot of the mountains at the steep of Potrero Grade in Rincon. Wasimo, the marsh hawk, that hunts by flying low and scaring its prey out of the grasses, gave out in the race here. He is now a rock beside the road, right below the Sparkman store near the place of the big sycamore trees. At the same time, Chahuka, a person coming along in the race, could go no further, and his footprint can still be seen today in the rock. Muyakam Navimavkam Pomshun Mwam Poyatakala Man Awam Pomne Namayawinantam Pomom Ashwat Pikawi Awat Piwasima Chonam Kawinga Kikam Mulakish Pipo Wiye Piavelka Pomomwe moma pohelunga kiktam, pometman neshkin monkush. Ono ahananikmil, huya pomom kawinga kiktam, iwanga naminga. When many of the racers have given out or were left behind, the golden eagle, Oswit, the raven, Kawiwit, and the marsh hawk, all mountain people were ahead, and the grasshopper, Wiet, and the butterfly, Avelica, the ocean people, we're close behind, so the mountain people won this race. Po hailo wiyamil nama shuka kawinga kikat pitona pavlunga kikat po momil nama eva eva ngai tameko ngai to mamek munik pivwipwik chonga penga hevelev ananga tona muna pavlunga. Have a lev anga, echil tul, 
Kwamona. Ono Hanenik Potona Shukati Huyah. The last race was between the deer of the mountains, Shukit, and the antelope of the low, lowland plains, Tonla. This race was from Temecula, Temecu, north to San Gregorio Mountain, Puwipwi, all on level ground going through open country where antelopes can go the fastest. So the antelope, Tonla, won the race. Pizumil. Pomtele ta tavana yupa namitum. Pito kawinga wimananga purapringa pomnamipi miekush una shuk tam pomkalkala ona ahananik po shuka tonna huyah. So they arranged to have one more race between them. This time it was over rugged mountainous terrain where deer are more at home than antelope. So the deer shuka earned his revenge. Ich mache nicht mehr, quasi awave, we woya, die mit dem Mitschatten mas, vom Norha Mirkus, vom Mama, vom Helena Kiktoman, der vom Mom Kawinga Kiktom. Achim, so mas, vom Moreham Mirkus Oshungai. Ich will vom Natakami, vom Eck zu Purchircha, Atachum, vom Lobby Ivo, ja mein Knotenig. Vom Momio Moyuki, in the end, sea fog and summer cloud thundercloud totaled up all the contests. And who do you think won? These contests of skill were just one feature of the Natush, Natush ceremony practiced by the Lisenio people long, long ago. Amayum kai morapak, children don't forget. Good. Okay, yay. So uh, at the end of that story, they said who won. So who won? Was it the ocean people or the mountain people? Who was counting? What are your guesses? Can you unmute or put them in the chat? And Ms. Kelly, can you go back to that slide of our students? Oh, no, uh, the students' um, names on the book. So this book um, is one of our, the books in our series. It's actually the first book we ever produced with our uh, storytelling program. Um, and there you go. So those students are largely from Rincon, La Jolla area. Um, you know, of course, some have dual uh, reses, of course. Um, my daughter's in there. I think she was about 12 years old and she's 27 now. So that's how long ago we produced this book. Um, and we just want to give a shout out to them. They all grown now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little older than these guys, but yeah. yeah. Um, and then our culture committee, of course, uh, for approving the story uh, and all the people who worked on it. Um, and then the people who donated uh, for the story to be printed. Uh, we're appreciative of well, as well. So uh, who knows who won? Ocean people or mountain people? Let's check our chat. Mountain people. Mountain people? Mountain people. Mountain people. Mountain people. Yeah. Mountain, mountain people. people. Uh, so I've got mountain and then someone said a tie. And what is the actual, who are the actual winners? The, the ocean, ocean people. people. Ocean people. <laughs> the ocean people, the lowland people. Um, when, we do it, when we perform this on stage, we've got two uh, like wood stands and we hang abalone shells on them every time someone wins. And so you can like... <laughs> share with you uh, this story is about the Notush ceremony the Notush ceremony again is uh, the last time it's recorded as being practiced is within in La Jolla, 1908 or 1903 I'm seeing it in my head on a piece of paper uh, that Har Harrington had recorded um, but it was in La Jolla um, and uh, these contests of skill and games are kind of where our fiesta games come from uh, 
uh, it's kind of a remnant of that ceremony uh, because all the people would get together after um, the burial and the image ceremonies were performed. And then um, Mamat Pokwasha would call all the people together and we would have these uh, really fun contests of just having all the people come together. Um, and we still do those things. If you've ever come to our fiesta at Rincon, we do the staring contest. That's always fun. <laughs> we do the eating contest. Um, and then we do the other different types of contests. And the um, main focus of the Notush ceremony was the Kitsumat pole, which we have one here. And uh, they say it was high as a house. And that the pole and the lighting is probably bad in here, but the pole is painted white, red, black, and gray. And so this is where some of our traditional colors come from as well. Um, and the pole would have been painted these colors all the way to the floor. And they represent the head, the white at the top is the head and then other parts of the body. Um, and so we have this one we carry with us wherever we go, wherever we perform. Uh, we also put it out at Fiesta all three days for the weekend. Um, and so we really honor and cherish our Katumit pole. It has baskets on top, those baskets in the first uh, picture, Miss Kelly. Uh, those baskets are filled with food and gifts. So whoever wins these contests, they get to pick uh, a basket and, and see what their gift will be inside. And it was largely food items uh, and then other different types of items that people had made. Um, and so that would be uh, what you would win during a contest. Um, and you saw uh, or heard that the octopus at one point came in and crept away crept in and took some baskets of food <laughs> during the contest. <laughs> yeah. So uh, does anyone have questions for us? I'm sure there's tons of other uh, details I'm forgetting to share, but. Avelica. Avelica has a question. All right. Um, uh, are butterflies from the mountain? Good question. <laughs> In this story, they're with the ocean. They are part of the ocean people. But I know there are butterflies that come from the mountain. <laughs> Good question. Anyone else? What's uh let's see. Uh, Miss Kelly? Oh, I know. Uh, I don't know if you've all seen the footprints in the rocks, but we try to look for the footprints in the rocks. We believe we've found some here in Rincon. Uh, from Chahuka. Chahuka is a spirit uh, that's associated with Palomar Mountain. And in this story, it says that Chahuka became a, a person um, that could go no further in the, um, in the race. And he put his footprint on that rock uh, that Wasimal became. And so whenever we're out hiking, we're looking for footprints. And we feel like we've found some. So I don't know if you all have that experience, too, or have seen the footprints in the rocks. This particular rock is uh, where Stage Stop is now. And it used to be called the Sparkman Store. So I think Hunter said he's found that rock, or what he believes is that rock. So think so yeah and then what did mrs Rhonda say oh she said she wanted to know if we caught um uh hitchema hitchema the hawk that we're having trouble well i just said it but it turns <laughs> out he was a hawk he just wasn't the marsh hawk he was just um i think it was just a regular small hawk and that's why we had the word kihu by it because he was the small hawk that was flying in the race so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what we're trying to do, if you all don't have any more questions, is we're trying to, uh, thank you, you're welcome. We're trying to take, so say Wasimal and Kihut and put them into our Ya'ash uh, Po'achem, our version of Old McDonald. So 
I have to write this down for my brain, <laughs> but it would sound something like it's Wichemo, right? Yeah. Wichemo Kihu. So then it would sound like Po Achum Kalkish Kunya Ash Hia Shu Una Una Pil Alkish Kun Wichemo Hia Shu Una. Kihu ya kush iva, kihu ya kush wuna. Wow, or excuse me, <laughs> that's hard to do. Uh, kihu iva, kihu wuna, cho onga mingcha, kihu ono ya wuna. <laughs> and then, uh, what else do we have? We can try another one. Mm, let's do a velvet. Let's do a velika. a velika, and then the second word will be um, uh, your wireless. Well, that's kind of long. But what was flutter again? We put it in there. Oh yeah, what's flutter? Yeah, what was flutter? Hema. Yeah. So it'd be hema Eva. Hema una. Okay, let's try it. You guys try it with us at home if you like. And Anthony and Priscilla, you want to take the lead, or one of you? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! A little practice. It's there. a little hard when, yeah. there's, when there's more than one syllable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that th those are the types of kinks that we're gonna work out. But overall, it usually flows. We just got, you just we just all have to find the flow find of it rhythm. together. Mm -hmm. We can do kuila and kulawut. Kulawut is a tree, and kuila uh, are acorns Kula. or the oak tree, right? Mm -hmm. So we can do kuila and kulawit 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 okay wam shum that means are you ready wam shum oh ho wo we pa ha pa a chum ka kush kunya ash hi ya shu wo na wo na pa a kush kun kula hi ya shu wo na <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> we have that um the recording in here. And uh, you guys are welcome to practice again uh, next week. If you guys want to come back and um, highlight, or if anyone wants to try it now, we're super willing to listen. Awesome. All right. Otherwise, I think that's what we have for you tonight. Ms. Kelly, did we have any ending thoughts or... Um, we just uh, want to remind everyone um, that you're always welcome in our space. We love sharing with you all. Uh, and if there's anything you want to share with us, um, for sure, we're always willing to uh, learn from others as well. Um, we, uh, again, broadcast from a Payamka Wichum view because that's what most of us are, but we do have some Kumiai, Tohono Otom in the room, right? Um, so we are uh, very respectful of everyone's um digeneity <laughs> yes and tribal <laughs> affiliations uh so again uh thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. and we still have these books available for donation if you guys want to reach out to us uh our instagram and facebook um so thank you so much i'm seeing some goodbyes in the chat we'll see you next week Yes. Uh, po wasailo, po pahailo, po pahailo, Wednesdays. Hatiaham, hatiaham. <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> um.